Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will model this part. Let's open a new part and build it together. In the front plane, I'm going to create one sketch and then I start as you see on the screen. Fine, and then another, yes, something like this. Then we will convert this tree to a construction geometry. Then we give here a 60 height. From here to here we have a 90 diameter. Here we have some corrections. Height here 10. Here 8. Angle here will be 135 here as well. So then we can close convert this one a uh, construction geometry again. I forget it. Then later from here to here an extra line. This is height of four. Then later we give it radius 15 here and 10 here. Yes, and then a four here as well. I hope it's not breaking our relations. If not, it's good. And then we select this one and make an offset. Reverse, select chain, two and a half. It is good. Then we close. We could close with the help of. Offset also, but I forget it. That's good. Now we close our sketch. We make a revolve. Operation is successful, and then we close it. Now we will create our other features. Front plane selected. Revolve here. I show my sketch. I open my. Uh, I create a rest sketch as well. So these are the lines that I would like to convert. I'm going to hide this one. This is our baseline, guys. So I select this one, offset entities, select chain active, two millimeter outwards. We make an offset, select again, reverse, and one millimeter enough. Then we're gonna convert the base, base geometry to a, a construction line. So then we get something like this. This is good. Why I offset inwards? Because if we create here, there will be zero thickness, so it should be a little bit going to to the model inwards that it will be combined correctly. So this guy also needs to move a bit. Maybe we can do it in that way. I forget it. Also important. This one. And this one collinear. So it is looking fine now. We say close sketch. Show the display state in normal way. Solid. And then a thickness of two and a half. Merge that was all active. Now we come to fit it. First, radius one, and then radius zero point five. All those guys selected. That's good. Now we are coming here and selecting circular pattern. First, I would like to select my object, fit it this guy and this fillet. Number of instances will be here 60 and let's say OK. Program going to create for us a circular pattern. Almost done and operation is completed. So front plane again active. We look front plane 
and I would like to see my sketch again. If you change display state, program will work better. From plane active, so I select this two line, convert entities, I hide original sketch and draw here a little circle. So we remove the unnecessary parts and let's give here a 2.5. We can make smaller seams. Two, no, a little bit bigger. 25 uh, radius value and the center here again. Select my center and I created here a construction geometry. I close my uh, sketch, revolve. Because sketch was selected, program automatically detected for my uh, boundary, my boundary that I would like to make a, a revolve. So here, radius 2. Here also I will create a little radiuses. Very small. Here I select it. This can take a bit of time. Program now busy with creating that radius. And it is created. That's good. We can create here a chamfer, which is 0.5 chamfer here it gives a nice effect and then we look again from front plane sketch a construction geometry from center again steps always same guys almost all the time same it's better to say here we have a five here we have a arc we end like this and from here to here one more and let's make sure that this two point aligned so I placed a reconstruction geometry and the distance here to here is zero point yeah it's one here height seven here twelve and here I create a line again. Tangency OK. And make horizontal. Guys, enjoying outside with an uh, fireworks. So sorry for the sound. So two and a half and two and a half there. It is looking fine. And I'm going to make an offset of two. And a half again, maybe two is enough. Oh, we come back, set entities, base geometry will stay. Cap and if you select this one with lines, you can close your profile as well. And 0 0.5 here, looking fine again. So we close this and we go to revolve and we create the shape without merge result, we can hide and we can create two little chamfers here as well. A little radius 0.5, big enough. Not going to uh, look so much details because we are just making a demonstration. So if we select from plane and take a section, you will see something like this. So they are overlapping. That's good. It's actually a little bit looking thick, but that's the ribs. The rest almost having same thickness. So it was a simple example. I hope you enjoy to watch it. If you like it, please hit the like button and make a comment. See you in another video.